Do yours get an allowance? What do your kids do with it when you give it to them? Do they save or spend, spend, spend? Teaching kids about finances should come sooner than you think. Mart Lukey of Thread Marketing is here to explain why. Um, and really, it's kind of a harsh reality here and why uh, we need to start teaching kids younger. We do. Now, this is an issue that was raised by the financial publication Barron's mm -hmm. a while back. And I think it's some good guidance for both parents and grandparents mm -hmm. to teach their kids about money. Mm -hmm. uh, it's summed up in three stats. Mm -hmm. Stat number one from expert Dave Ramsey said that only a fourth of 13 to 20 year old kids say that their parents have taught them about finances. Second, the fastest growing, growing age group today for filing bankruptcy mm -hmm. are young people ages 20 to 24. That's incredible. It is. And then finally, 36% of young people don't have any emergency savings at all. And you know, and that's, that's anybody, yeah. It's yeah, it is. And so the, the banking industry has put together a Teach Your Children to Save Day, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Okay. And so we just thought we'd uh, take, get a jump on that yeah. and talk a little bit about um, how parents can teach their kids about money. Now, and, and how young, because I know I've, we, our daughter, uh, she's got a piggy bank, right? But right. That's, that's about it. <laughs> well, okay. And I think people kind of misunderstand uh, a child's ability to understand about Yeah, money. they so, are really quick. They're indeed. Uh, uh, a University of Michigan survey says that children who are five have already self-identified as either spenders or savers. So they're, they're well, thinking about money, right? Well, yeah, but, I get that though. They're like, do I want to save this for that Barbie doll or do I want to spend it right now in some bubble gum? Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. And so Barron's uh, said that uh, children as young as three, mm -hmm. so your daughter is almost yeah, there, she's almost there. Mm -hmm. uh, should start considering paying an, uh, getting an allowance. Okay, so you should start giving your three-year-old <laughs> an allowance. I better start saving now. And then the okay. idea is that for every year they get older, mm -hmm. you give them an extra dollar. So your okay. three-year-old would be getting $3 mm -hmm. a week for doing her chores. So here's, okay. here are some things that they suggest children can do mm -hmm. to earn that money. Mm -hmm. For three-year-olds, they should be able to put away uh, dirty napkins and pick up toys. Okay. At six, they should help set the table and feed the pets. Mm -hmm. You said your daughter's already doing yeah, it. Yeah, she already helps us feed the dog. Yeah, she so loves to do I'll, it. I'll keep it on the download that she's supposed but to She's doing it for today. free right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> right. So if you're nine, you should be able to load the dishwasher and make okay. a bed, and the 10-year-old should be able to take out the trash and wash the car. Ooh. Now, there's a little bit of an opt-out clause for some parents, mm -hmm. right? My daughter would fall into this category. Mm -hmm. They believe that there are certain chores that should be expected activities sure. around the house, mm -hmm. right? And it's certainly appropriate for parents to carve those out, you mm -hmm. know, like taking, uh, picking up uh, your picking clothes up off after the floor. Picking up after yourself, right? My mm -hmm. uh, five-year-old grandson takes his plate to the dishwasher mm -hmm. when he's done eating, okay? But generally speaking, uh, they should have, and, and I think there's a limit to how much uh, family income there is and what your financial circumstances yeah. are, but generally speaking, uh, there should be some ways for children that three learn, years learn old. We can save. already start talking to them about this, and there and there are tools available too. Uh, and with technology, a lot of the banking institutions they've got apps, they've got all kinds right, of stuff. Right, right. The help banking families. industry is doing a much better job now about uh, creating easy ways to open a savings account for mm -hmm. children. The interest rate is pretty low, but mm -hmm. the, you don't have to pay any money to open yeah. the account. Mm -hmm. There are some uh, apps online that mm -hmm. would help you do that, but. Experts say that the most uh, effective way to teach children how to save is to just the old-fashioned way, get a couple of uh, canning jars okay. or jelly jars that are empty and mm -hmm. give cash mm -hmm. and put half the cash in the jelly jar for mm -hmm. saving, okay. uh, a little bit in a jelly jar for giving to charity, okay. which is important, that and is. then giving the rest of the child to spend. And so that That's creates fun. sort of a, a work-reward situation that can get ingrained very quickly. And very yeah. early. <laughs> and it's so important because we don't want our kids to become one of these statistics, but it really does start with us to set them up because, as you said, that's a huge portion of young people who are saying, my parents never taught me this. Right, thing. right. And I think psychologists will tell you that the best way to teach kids about money is to earn it. Yeah. Right? So teach them your work ethic. Give them ethic, some skin in the game, Give them some right? responsibility mm -hmm. and show them that there's going to be a reward. Okay, good stuff, Mark. Thank you okay. for coming in. Okay, always Appreciate good it. to see you. Yep. Thank you for making Toledo's only live local 9 a.m. show part of this Tuesday morning. Chris is in with the latest on those uh, first alert days that are coming up in just a moment.